Watch you guys do this to unlock all Windows features. Whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11, you need to do this to unlock all of the features like Group Policy or Bitdefender or any of these particular types of features that you want to use on Windows. Now, if you're running Windows uh, 10 Home or Windows 11 Home, you're going to have a lot more restrictions compared to Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro. You can see this is a Windows 11 Home system. Now I'm going to show you a couple of simple things you can do to get to Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro in a couple of steps. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to do this without formatting or losing any data on our computer. It takes very little time to do and I'll show you step by step on how to do it. Now, if you look at this system here, Windows 11 Home, it's not been activated. Now, if we want to get to Windows 11 Pro, we can't just use one of those cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys because you have to reinstall Windows to get that to work. But I'll show you a workaround on how to do it. Now, with Windows 11 Home, you'll notice that you don't get any group policy editor, which allows you to uh, basically... Uh, turn off a lot of features that you don't want, a lot of bloat and stuff like that inside Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you want to use BitLocker to encrypt your drive and protect your data, then you will need Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. Now, the first thing to do is get the Windows 11 or Windows 10 a generic key. They've got a generic key, Microsoft produced them, so you can use them to upgrade. And this is what you'll need to do first. So first thing we need to do is go to the activation center and use the generic key. This is not the key that you're going to purchase to use to activate. This is just the key so we can upgrade to Windows 11 Pro. This way we don't have to reinstall Windows to use those Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro OEM keys. So what I'm going to do now is paste in my Windows 11 Pro generic key. Now you can get these by doing a search on Google there's sites out there that have a full list of generic keys which you can use. They're legal to use. They're not going to activate Windows. They're just going to allow you to prepare for the upgrade from Windows 11 Home or Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. It just allows you to get to that next version. Now, we're not activated, so don't worry. I'll show you that process in a second. It says unable to upgrade your edition, but it has. And all I need to do now is close this window off because it can't activate. That's what it is. It's already upgraded, but it can't activate. So I need to restart the system. And you'll see here, it will start upgrading my system from Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro. It will still be unactivated, but that doesn't matter because that means that we can go ahead and purchase one of those keys and then activate our operating system legally. So let's go ahead and upgrade and add these features to our system. You can see it's adding these features now, which means we're going to get all of those added features that we didn't have with the home version. That's now done. It's going to restart one more time. And then once this is done, we should get to the desktop and then we'll be able to see that we are on Windows 11 Pro. So let's go ahead and take a look. So what I need to do here now is we're going to go down to the start button and we go back into settings here, click on settings. And if we go to the about page here, it's going to tell us that we are now using Windows 11 Pro for workstation. Don't worry about the Windows 11 Pro for workstation. It's just upgraded us to that version because I use that key for the workstation. It really doesn't matter because once I activate it, it's going to give us Windows 11 Pro. So let's go ahead now. You can see I'm not activated, and this is where we can go to our sponsor of this video, CD Key Sales. You can check out the links in the video description to take you to this site, create an account. Once you've created an account, you can do a search for Windows 11, or you can do a search for Windows 10, depending on what version you want. So you can see here we've got a list of keys here for Windows 11 uh, Pro OEM. And uh, we've also got keys for Windows 10 uh, Pro as well. So all you need to do is do a search for Windows 10 Pro or whether it be Office, whatever it is you're going to be searching for. I'm going to be going for Windows 10 Pro here. Even though it, this is a Windows 11 system, it's still going to activate this version of Windows. So all you need to do is make sure the flags are of your country of origin. And then you can literally click on the Buy Now button 
and click this and then we can use my promo code to get a discount on that price so capital b capital r09 and then apply this to your order by clicking apply and you'll see the price drop down there there we go in us dollars here you can change that to uk pounds if you wish then go to your paypal account and pay for it once you've paid for it you'll be able to get that key from your account it will be sent there and you can go back over to the activation center as you can see here click on change product key now and use your windows 10 pro oem key or windows 11 pro oem key whatever version you've purchased paste that in then click next and this will then take us to the next screen, which will say activate your version of Windows. As you see here, it's just uh, going along and connecting to the Microsoft servers to see whether this is a legitimate key. And it is. And there you go. We can now see activate Windows and it will activate your version of Windows. You can now see that we have Windows 11 Pro up the top of the screen there which means we've safely gone from Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro with a OEM key without having to reinstall Windows and get it activated legally using a legit Windows 11 Pro OEM key or Windows 10 Pro OEM key, whatever one you purchased. So now we've upgraded to the Pro version and we've also uh, activated our version of Windows. We can now go to our search box here and we can type GP Edit just like so and if you want to follow along for a lot of my videos that I do about group policy then you'll see you'll now have group policy and you'll also have BitLocker and a bunch of other new features added to your version of Windows so very simple and easy to do and the Windows uh, 11 Pro and Windows 10 Pro are a lot better than Windows Home in my personal opinion anyway I hope this video has been some sort of use to you my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.